guys, this is Feeding Frenzy 91, and I'm talking about Call of Duty. Why? Well, I was watching Weeby Tech USA's video, and apparently, Activism Blizzard is planning on not bringing out a new Call of Duty next year. Now, according to him, I believe the reason was because it's not where it should be or something like that. It basically seems like they want more time to actually work on it, but that sounds a little suspicious to me because, like, how do you know at this time that over a year from now, the game won't be where it should be. I mean, I guess some people may be able to estimate that far based on where it is now, but that still sounds a little fishy. But in any case, I think it's a good thing. Now, why is that? It's not because I think they rushed the games, because let's face it, Call of Duty games seem to come out more complete than many games nowadays. So it's not that. And besides, they have Infinity Ward and Treyarch at least. They may still have Sledgehammer, but I'm not sure. So I think the minimum amount of development time for the Call of Duty games is around two years. So I don't think that's really rushed. And when they release, they tend to release pretty finished. So that's not the reason. And it's not because I think that they still couldn't release every year and be successful. I mean, let's face it, with Call of Duty, it's just proven time and time again. Sure, there have been some exceptions, but many times it's come out and just done so well year after year after year. But the reason why I think that it would be good if they didn't release a Call of Duty every single year is because of just how updates and stuff constantly be happening for these games. Like with Modern Warfare, which you had the seasons and you had them adding maps and this was, and all the stuff was like free. It was really cool that a lot of this stuff was free updates and everything. And it really, I think, kept the game going in some regard, like the new maps and obviously the new map with Warzone and everything like that. And the fact that Warzone, I think, worked across the board, I'm not exactly sure with that, so... But it, I do think Warzone works across the board. In fact, I mean, like, when you, when you go on to Modern Warfare, at least with my Xbox, I see Vanguard and Cold War, even though I don't own those games, because it seems like this is more like a Call of Duty community now, as opposed to three separate games. Even though, yes, they are three separate games, but it seems like they're connected in some way. But I digress. Really, I think that... With all the updates and everything, they just don't need to release one game every single year. Maybe one game every two years, and just have the other game be kept fresh with like updates and stuff, like free updates like with Modern Warfare. With all the updates and DLC and everything, and seasons even, I just don't see the need for a new Call of Duty every year. Now, I'm not sure how that would affect Infinity Ward and Treyarch, because maybe instead of like working on these games separately, they'd have to work on each game together. I, I don't know. I really don't know. Because four years, I think, would be a long time to develop one Call of Duty game. But, but with all the updates and seasons and DLC and everything, I just don't think they really need to bring out a new Call of Duty game every year. But hey, I could be wrong. Maybe this is just a one-off. Maybe this has something to do with Microsoft possibly buying Activision Blizzard. I don't know. But what do you guys think? Do you, do you guys think they're just like planning this to just to be a one-off? And that 2024, 25, 26, 27, they may be planning to actually bring out one Call of Duty every single year? Or do you guys think that they may actually be testing the water, seeing how it would be to just bring out like it every two years or something like that? Or do you guys really just think that they just need more time to work on the game? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and may God bless you all.